Hi ho and Jumbo from Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. We are here today to show you all of the fun, fascinating, and completely free things you can do right here at this resort. No hotel reservation, no park ticket required. Let's go do it. Jumbo, everybody, this is the second video in our series of completely free things you can do here at Walt Disney World. The first video we did, we took a riverboat cruise from Disney Springs over to Old Key West. It was pretty magical. Today, in a lot of ways, it's even cooler. We're here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge to show you the amazing savannas filled with spectacular animals that you can come visit completely free. We actually stayed here uh, when we reviewed Animal Kingdom Lodge a few weeks ago and we were blown away that honestly our favorite things to do here were things that you did not need a hotel reservation to do. Anyone can come here and do these things for free. The one thing that can be a little tricky about coming here if you don't have a hotel reservation is how do you park. Uh, you cannot park on the resort unless you have a hotel reservation or a dining reservation. However, you can park at Disney Springs or at Animal Kingdom and take a shuttle over to the resort and that's what we did today. So obviously, one of the best things you can do at Animal Kingdom Lodge is check out all the amazing animals. So one cool thing they used to do here that they don't anymore, they used to have really cool printed animal spotting guides that you could pick up at the front desk, or if you were staying here, they would be available in your room. They don't print those anymore, but there is a digital version. We'll put a link to it in the description down below. There are QR codes that you can use to access it while you're here, but we'll give you the link so that you can go ahead and have it accessed before you even come. There are four different savannas on this property. We're gonna start with the smallest savanna, which is over here at the Kadani Village area. It is called Pembe Savannah. So if you're not sure where to find Pembe Savannah here, it's actually just kind of over behind the pool area. Uh, once you find the pool bar, just kind of look to your right and you'll find Pembe. So one thing that is super cool about the Pembe Savannah, even though it is the smallest, there is sometimes the chance to kind of go behind the scenes at this savanna. There used to be an official tour that we actually did when we stayed here that was called the Off the Path Tour. That tour is not currently available, but be really sweet to the cast member that you see over here at the Pembe Savannah and ask them if there's any way they could possibly give you that Off the Path Tour. And who knows, you might luck out like we did and they'll take you behind the scenes. While Pembe might not have giraffes and zebras like the other savannas, it does have one celebrity resident named Casanova. This flirty little bird became famous in the magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom on Disney Plus, which you should definitely check out before you meet him in person on the tour. Also, if you take the tour around 4.30, you can usually catch feeding time, which gives you a great opportunity to see all of the animals on this savanna up close, all in one spot. We are here at our second savanna at Kidani Village. This one is called the Sunset Savanna, and it actually is the largest savanna here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. This one connects Kidani Village and Animal Kingdom Lodge. We actually took a quick pit stop at Sanaa here at Kidani Village and had the amazing bread service. Definitely something that, while it is not completely free, it is something I would definitely recommend doing while you're here because the bread service is amazing. Let's go check out the largest savanna from this side and then we'll head over to Jumbo House to check it out from that side. We're also gonna to talk to one of the cast members here who is an animal guide and they'll tell us about some of the amazing wildlife we can see at this savanna. All right, so the animals you'll find here on the Sunset Savanna are reticulated giraffes, mountain zebras, white-bearded wildebeest, roan antelope, Elands, Impala, and Adax. Those are the mammals. And then we have four species of birds. We've got the ostriches, the marabou storks, Egyptian geese, and the African crown cranes. And that's about all of them here. 
So one of the super cool things you can do when you're here at Animal Kingdom Lodge is check out an actual ostrich egg. Uh, there are cast members going around who will uh, show you this ostrich egg and teach you about it. Some cool facts you might not know about ostrich eggs. A 250 pound person can actually stand on this egg and it will not break. How cool is that? Also, if you were to eat this ostrich egg, it is the equivalent of 25 chicken eggs. So that's a pretty big breakfast. Well, that is it for Kadani Village. Now we're going to use the free shuttle to take us over to Jumbo House. We're gonna see the other side of the Sunset Savannah, and we're going to see the other two savannas that are only accessible from Jumbo House. So let's go do it. All right, we have made our way over to Jumbo House, which is the core of Animal Kingdom Lodge. Probably when you think of Animal Kingdom Lodge and you picture that huge cavernous lobby, if you're familiar with it, that is Jumbo House. The first savanna we're gonna check out over here is the Uzima Savanna. Much like Pembe over at Kadani Village, Uzima Savanna is by the pool. In fact, this is called the Uzima Pool. So basically to give you an idea of where Uzima is, that is the Uzima Pool. And then right across this little bridge walkway, there is the Uzima Savanna. I would say the star of the Uzima Savanna are the Greater Flamingo. They're definitely the most prominent thing you'll see when you come to visit this savanna. Well, there's not a lot going on here at Uzima Savanna right now other than the flamingos, but I would be remiss if I did not share a very cool flamingo fact that I learned right here at Disney World. Did you know that flamingos aren't naturally pink? They're actually kind of whitish and they get that pink color from their diet. They eat a lot of krill shrimp, which contains a lot of beta carotene, which gives them that characteristic pinkish color. Who knew? Next stop is the main lobby of Jumbo House. There's that huge kind of picture window overlooking a savanna. That one is Arusha, and that is the next savanna we're gonna go check out. So the sunset savanna that we saw a peak of over at Kadani, that is the largest savanna. Although I kind of think this one, Arusha, is the most iconic savanna. And the reason for that is this is the first savanna that you see when you first arrive at Jumbo House here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. This is definitely when I picture the savannas at Animal Kingdom Lodge, for me at least, this is the first one that comes to mind. Wow, check that out. It is clearly feeding time. Feeding time is oftentimes the best time to check out these animals because otherwise they don't usually all congregate in one place like that. Another thing you should definitely check out while you are here at Animal Kingdom Lodge is the amazing African art. Believe it or not, Animal Kingdom Lodge has one of the largest private collections of African art outside of Africa. So this spectacular thing you see behind me is actually a mask created by the Igbo people of Nigeria. This thing is worn by one single dancer who performs at a special ceremony in Nigeria. You can actually read all about it uh, on the panels that surround this, but the art that you will find here at Animal Kingdom Lodge is really, really cool. Well, our next stop here at Jumbo House is the gift shop, Zawadi Marketplace. You find lots of cool things here. Items that are really only at this gift shop that you can't find other places on property. There's also some games you can play here or like right outside of the gift shop. There's sometimes traditional African games there. Right now there's tic-tac-toe set up right at the entrance, but we're actually here for another reason. We are going to get a little treat that we can enjoy out on our last Savannah viewing. It is time for our very last savanna of the night, which is actually a savanna we've already seen just from the other side. We're gonna check out Sunset Savannah from the Jumbo side because, well, this is the side where you can actually see the sunset. So to get to Sunset, you basically just come through the lobby and then on the left-hand side, you're going to see this kind of drawing room. And then you'll go through here and there is a viewing area just outside those windows. Well, I got some very fine glassware from the quick service, the Mara downstairs, and now it's time to enjoy a glass of wine and watch the sunset. Nothing quite like an inexpensive bottle of white wine served in a paper cup. 
cheers to another free adventure here at Walt Disney World. If you enjoyed this video, and I sure hope you did, please be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel because we have got more free things you can do at Disney World coming up in future videos. Plus, we've got a whole series of other videos, including our latest one, which is all about Disney Genie Plus. If you have not checked that out, you should definitely do so. Until next time, don't forget to think happy thoughts, everybody. We'll see you again real soon.